From torture devices to ancient Egyptian cat gods, here's a phrase that has roots far more sinister than suggested by its modern friendly usage. Let's talk about Cat Got Your Tongue. Cat Got Your Tongue is a lighthearted question addressed to someone who is at a loss for words or is inexplicably quiet. For example, who destroyed the furniture? Who did it? What's the matter, Puppuccino? Cat Got Your Tongue? The first use of Cat Got Your Tongue in print is from the 19th century from the Wisconsin newspaper, The Racine Democrat, in December 1859. The origin of the phrase is not totally clear. However, the presumed history is darker than you would think. There is no evidence that the phrase Cat Got Your Tongue is anything more than odd childish imagery. Nevertheless, here are the three unverified theories. The English Royal Navy, who ruled much of the world's oceans in the 18th and 19th centuries, used a torture device called the Cat of Nine Tails. Sailors who misbehaved or didn't follow orders were brutally flogged by the multi tailed whip. The Cat of Nine Tails had nine leather straps, with each strap having three knots, and it was designed to lacerate the skin and cause intense pain. It felt like getting hit with a pillow made of rusty nails by the Hulk. A sailor could get flogged anywhere from 5 to 100 times, and sometimes the whipping would cause the sailor to pass out. So, asking cat got your tongue meant that someone was flogged into submission or into silence. On a somewhat lighter note, in the Middle Ages, many Christians feared witches' hexes and curses. So much so that people told tall tales of black cats being the familiars of witches were actually shape-shifting witches themselves. Some people also had a superstitious fear of black cats because they roamed the streets at night. As the stories go, witches allegedly stole your tongue so you couldn't speak and report their unorthodox hobbies to the police. Ancient Egyptians loved cats. They believed that cats were magical creatures capable of bringing good luck to the people who housed them. One of their 2,000 deities was Bestet, a goddess of motherhood who was half human, half cat, and often depicted as being surrounded by fluffy kittens. At the time, people speaking out of turn, bearing false witness, or saying something against the religion or government faced severe punishment. As retributions for their crimes, authorities would cut out their tongues and feed them to nearby cats. The offender never lied or committed blasphemy again, and the cats were forever grateful for the first offense. 